Hi, my name is Scott Ford from MrFordsClass.com and welcome to Human Anatomy and Physiology 1. This is the Welcome to Anatomy video. So who am I and why should you take my advice on anatomy and physiology? Well, I've got over eight years experience in the public classrooms. I've got over four years experience in colleges. I've taught anatomy from middle school life, science, life skills to university students, to high school students, to massage students. And more importantly, I've been where you're at or what you're going to go through. And there wasn't anybody helping me out. And it was a struggle. So now that I'm in a position where I can help others, I've decided to do that. On the website, mrfordsclass.com, are a bunch of helpful things that I wish somebody had told me. Too many times students enter the a &P program missing some vital information. The a &P program has a 50% fail rate. The risk factors that I found are the biggest ones are having children. Now before you think I'm being too cruel hearted or too mean, understand I have two children of my own and I'm working on a master's degree. So I understand the juggling act you have to do between family and schoolwork. The second risk factor is having a full-time job. I remember when I was an undergrad and it seemed like I just didn't have time for anything. Well, now that I'm an adult in an adult world and have a full-time job, trying to balance schoolwork with that is kind of difficult. So you definitely have to become a master of time management. The third and probably most important risk factor is the lack of any science classes under your belt. If it's been five years since your last science class, you're going to have problems. If you haven't had a biology class or chemistry class, you're going to have problems. So how can you overcome these risk factors? Glad you asked, and this is what these videos are about. There are several keys to your success in the AMP program. Key number one, buy the right reference material. Just because the bookstore says you have to buy the newest edition does not mean you need to buy the newest edition. The anatomy and physiology world has not changed much in the last 50 or 100 years. Now the science has, but the actual bone structure muscles, pretty much the same. So look for older editions of the books. Some students purchase study guides. The ones that I recommend are Netter's Atlas of Human Anatomy. This is a must have for anybody in the nursing or any medical professions. Biology for Dummies. This is a great way to compensate for any lack of biology classes you might have had. Chemistry for Dummies, also an excellent book to use. Other books that I found students like to use are the a and for Dummies. Personally, I think this one's a hit or miss. And the Anatomy Coloring Book. I find that students either really get into this or they do a couple of drawings and then call it quits. Key number two, study. I've only met two students, both as a teacher and a student myself, who could cram for the last moment and do well in the A&P session. You need to study a little every day. Again, let me stress this, do not wait for the night before to study for your tests. Key number three, learn some study skills. More and more universities are becoming very sensitive to the fact that a lot of incoming students do not possess study skills. Study skills is not something to make your life harder. In fact, it's a, it allows you to do less work and get more from it. Everyone hates those students that can study just a little bit and get a lot out of it. Study skills is the name of the game. Every university, every college has a counseling office. I'm not talking about the people that make the schedules, I'm talking about actual student counseling. They have exams, they have classes, they have helpful material so you can learn study skills. The time you put into it now at the beginning of your academic career will pay off in huge dividends as you go through and towards graduation. So be sure to check them out. Key number four, immerse yourself in the world of anatomy and physiology. It seems like it's been a long time since I took my first anatomy class, but I remember it. I immersed myself completely. I had note cards everywhere. I photocopied pictures out of the textbook. I had them on my bathroom mirror, my bedroom wall. I even put them on the dashboard of my car. Wouldn't recommend that. Not a good idea. But the point is, is you have to be immersed in A&P. Every time I went out to dinner, every time I went out to lunch, the book was with me. If you ever get a chance to check out my Netter's book, it's covered in, in, in human remains from Gross Anatomy Lab and pizza. Yes, I know, not the most hygienic thing. But this is the point. You have to be surrounded by anatomy and physiology. If you're going to the class and you don't have dream about bones and muscles, then you're not immersing yourself. Key number five, think like your professor. Thinking like the professor. It might sound like a nightmare to some, but it could be your key to success in the program. When the professor is lecturing, try to think about how they can ask questions on the material. There's only so many ways you can ask a question on the humorous. So when you're studying, make test questions, make your own mock exams, write them down. You'd be amazed at how many times your test questions are actually test questions on the professor's exam. 
Here's a little hint about the teacher tests. I personally have all my exams online. I have exam reviews. On my website, you can check out these tests. They're not so you can memorize the answers and move on. They're simply so you can keep checking yourself to see how you're doing. So be sure to get the subscription and look at those exam reviews. They're gonna help you out. Before I took anatomy and physiology, I never did note cards. But let me tell you what you do. These things are valuable. You take your note card and you can make it any size or any color. And you put on one side the description, the idea, the term. And on the other side, you put the actual description. You actually write out what it is. These are great because you can carry them with you everywhere you go. You're learning by reading the material. You're learning by having to write the material down. And it's a great way to continuously review throughout your day. And it's also fun if you have another person in A&P to kind of quiz each other off the note cards. Here's some last minute helpful hints that I found that really, really, really help you out in anatomy and physiology. One, become a lab rat. Be at the lab every possible chance you get. If the lab's open, you need to be there because those suckers are going to be on your lab practicals. Two, use multimedia. The great thing about the world right now is we have video, we have the animations. On the website, mrfortsclass.com, I've got a whole bunch of multimedia linked for you to use for your studies. Record your lectures, hint number three. If the professor allows you, record the lectures. You're going to want to listen to them later. If your professor won't let you record them, that's okay. I've got podcasts and videos on the website. Also, last hint, mnemonic devices. If you've ever been in band when you were in elementary school or middle school, you might have heard of EGBDF or FACE, the lines and the spaces of a, of, a key, of a key. Those help you out. I've got a bunch of mnemonics linked on the website. Also, Wikipedia is a great resource to find mnemonics. So those are some last minute helpful hints that might just save your butt. Well, that brings us to our conclusion of our first Anatomy Physiology 1 video. I hope you got some really helpful advice out of this, some good hints and some tips that I know as a student myself. If you haven't already got a subscription to mrfordsclass.com, do so. You're going to see more videos like this. You're going to have presentations, PowerPoints, lectures, podcasts, exam reviews, everything you need to do to help even your odds so you don't become one of that 50% of the people who fail or drop out of the class. Also, my email address is there, so if you have any questions, please email me because this is all about the student learning. This is all about you getting the material down, learning it, and getting the grades you want in your anatomy class. Until I see you next time for our next video, have fun studying out there.